Oops. Oh dear. Never mind. <laughs> I need some theme music. Should have uh, should have made some pump up music for us. All right, so get our another third round matchup for our tournament of patrons about to take place. Should be fun. Hit. If any of you um, haven't seen um, any of the matches yet, how it's going to work is... Can you guys hear Alex, or is it just me? I cannot hear Alex. No. I yeah, can't I hear Alex. Alex. Yeah. I was wondering about this long silence, but I didn't hmm. want to speak up. It was all fine. I, what happened? I think I might be. Oh, can you hear me now? Eric yeah, does. I think it was. Yeah, I think I it's a Discord you know. issue. I think I'm pretty. I think the stream was hearing me, but you guys on the Discord were not. I think. Uh, well, either way, um, if you haven't seen the matches yet, um, we're gonna take all buzzes. Buzzer can be a little tough to deal with over the stream so I didn't want anyone to get locked out so all buzzes we will be taking but you will get a $100 bonus if you were the first one correct so we'll pay to be faster we'll get the usual penalty if you are incorrect so be careful with that no um, special wagering questions Hello. are you not hearing me I can hear you. Okay. Sorry. I don't know if that's the same for everyone else, though. Okay. okay, I think we're good. I can hear. Bruce, are you good? Are you with us still? Uh, you just came back. So I've got a question about the buzzer, which is, okay. there is no, there's no lockout penalty, right? So I'm pretty sure, yeah. If Correct. You just, if you just start mashing it and just keep mashing it. I believe, is that the preferred tactic so far, guys? Just mash the buzzer? Yeah, from my experience, yeah, yeah. Just tap it as fast as you can. Yeah, okay. All right. I think that's, uh, I think that is you on the right track there. So, yeah, no uh, wager questions, no final questions. We're just going to play these 25 questions and see where we are at after that. And uh, top two scores will advance and we'll sadly lose one more player from the tournament tonight. So. Between uh, got a great lineup tonight. B England the shark, Bogey the is it chipmunk, badger, meerkat. It is the meerkat. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Brendan the potato. Yep, that's me. All right. Let me turn you. Up just a little bit, Brandon. I feel like you're a little quiet. Okay. Maybe you're a little bit too buggy. Okay. Um, all right, I guess uh, why not? Let's get started, Brendan. You are in the uh, arbitrary champions position, so why don't you pick first? Sure. Let's go literary weddings for 100. Literary weddings for 100. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Give you some tough stuff as usual tonight. I'm sure you guys will do well. Oh, what's that? Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Literary Weddings for 100. Before a wedding in Chapter 3, this Flaubert title character is known as Emma Rualtz. She's 
two, one, and no more buzzing. Shark? Uh, who does, uh, Madame Bovary? Yes. Okay, two of you correct on that one, and your pick, Shark? Uh, let's keep going, 200. 200 for literary weddings. At the end of this Jane Austen novel, Eleanor Dashwood finally marries, and so does her sister, Marianne. And no more buzzing, Shark? Uh, what is Emma? No, sorry. Because, of course, neither one of them is named Emma. Emma, just on your mind from the previous question, perhaps. Anybody uh, else? Uh, any no takers? That is sense and sensibility. One of them was sense, the other's sensibility, I guess. <laughs> sense and sensibility. Okay, your pick, Shark. 300 literary weddings. 300 literary weddings. This title, Foundling, marries his beloved Sophia at the end of a Henry Fielding novel. takers here i gotta guess this is tom jones yeah that was my guess tom jones should have went for it all right your pick tough category let's keep going in wuthering heights catherine marries edgar instead of this man so he marries catherine's sister And no more buzzing, Shark? Uh, who is Heathcliff? Yes. Very good. That's too easy for 400. Yeah, well, I, I, I clearly ordered them incorrectly. I thought the character's name might be uh, might be tougher than the other ones, but go ahead. Well, let's finish it out. This German composed a wedding march for Titania and Oberon from Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Snuck in a classical music question in the lit category. So, Shark, go ahead. Uh, who is Mendelssohn? That is correct. Whew. Second thoughts there. <clears throat> you went with the right one. Category. Okay, so okay. your pick. Uh, William the Conqueror. One hundred. William defeated Harold II at this... 1066 battle. Everyone buzzing on this one? Brendan, you were first. Uh, Hastings? Yes. Let's go, William the Conqueror for two. Before he was king, William was Duke of this French region where he was born. Everyone in again on this one? Bogey? Normandy? Yes. Your pick, Keep but... going for 300. All right. Some say that William's wife created this medieval embroidery depicting his invasion of England. Uh, shark? Uh, what's the bio tapestry? Yes, very good. You t 
Tapestry, your pick. Uh, let's keep going. William the Conqueror for four and ten eighty five. William commissioned this book, an accounting of land value and ownership in England. Okay, Shark. Uh, what's the Doomsday Book? Yes. Is that how you pronounce it? I think equal either is uh, is correct. Doomsday yeah, or Domesday. I, I was actually looking I, at that. I don't think I've ever heard it pronounced. Yeah, I'm not sure either, but I, I was looking at it today. I think either is correct. Doomsday or Domesday. Let's go ahead. Your pick. Five hundred, please. William argued that this childless monarch had promised him the throne before ultimately naming Harold king on his deathbed. No takers on this one. No guts. This is Edward the Confessor. It's that king that came before somebody the already, but... not Ethelred, no. Ethelred the Ethelred Unready. The unready yeah. so, uh, well, let's keep going. Krusty, 100. Krusty for 100. In one episode, Krusty the Clown, that is, mentions that he's on this palindromic Pfizer drug that treats anxiety disorders. Okay, no more buzzing. Bogey? Uh, Xanax? Yes. Uh, Your pick? Cahoots for 100. So these answers um, are uh, found in the word cahoots. Okay? Made up of the letters in the word cahoots. So cahoots for 100. Complete disorder and confusion, or an amorphous primordial deity from Greek mythology. Everyone in quick on this one. Bogey? Chaos. Yes, good. Your pick. Uh, Cahoots again, 200. Cahoots for two. The common shortened name of the fifth book of the New Testament. Just got in there last second. Uh, Brendan. Just a guess, but I'm going to go with Acts. Yep, very good. Let's go in Cahoots 300. This popular variety of salmon is also known as silver salmon. And no more buzzing, bogey. Coho. Yes. Uh, cahoots four hundred. A foolish old man, or an aquatic bird. <coughs> Excuse me. No more buzzing, bogey? Coop? Yes. What am I? <laughs> <laughs> bogey, your pick. Uh, finish off Cahoots. 
In ancient Athens, this type of long covered walkway or portico partially surrounded the agora. Yeah, lay the lay the hammer down on the five hundred spot. Yeah. No takers here. This is called a stoa. Oh, of course. Sure. sure. I believe that's actually what uh, Stoic, the uh, Stoic school of philosophy, comes from. Stoa. So your uh, your pick again. Uh, crab one hundred. Crab for one hundred. This Oscar-winning song was performed by an animated crab named Sebastian. I know the movie. Okay, Bogey? Uh, Under the Sea? Yes. Ah. Of course. Uh. All right, your pick? Crab 200. Found in the constellation Taurus, this is the common name for a remnant of a supernova from 1054 A.D. Okay, shark. What's the crab nebula? Yes. Correct as well. Keep going, crab. Crab for three. Named for a holiday, this Indian Ocean island, owned by Australia, is famous for its annual mass migration of red crabs. Okay, Boogie? Christmas Island? Yes. A crab 400. Crab for four. This crab gets its musical name from the male's tendency to wave its oversized claw, resembling the movements of a violinist. Hey, shark. Uh, what's the fiddler crab? Yes. I can't get out of phrasing them in the form of a question. <laughs> some, some, some choose to, some don't. I don't, don't require oh, yeah. it, but I don't, uh, uh, dis- don't discourage or encourage. Your yeah, I, I guess I should just stick with what's comfortable. Uh, Five hundred. This salad name for a Washington hotel owner consists of crab meat and chili mayo dressing with lettuce, tomatoes, hard-boiled eggs, and asparagus. Sounds delicious. No takers. This is called uh, Crab Louie. Uh, Sorry. (laughs) No, no. Uh, okay. Let's go back Crusty. to the top. Crusty for two. Yeah. Crusty once suggests that to save money, he'll just cut back on the omelets made from eggs from this bird with California and Andean species. Everyone on this one? Bogey? Condors? Yes. Just cut back on condor egg omelets. Okay. So 300? Keep it going. 300, yep. The episode Like Father, Like Clown, which introduced Krusty's strict Jewish upbringing, was a parody of this 1927 Al Jolson talkie. Hey, Shark. 
Uh, what's the jazz singer? The jazz singer, correct. Been considered the first talkie movie with synchronized sounds. Your pick, Shark. 400. Krusty shares this first name with Heisman winning running back Walker. It's also the last name of Uranus discoverer William. Bogey? Uh, Herschel. Good. Oh. Mouse troubles here. Sorry, guys. And Krusty for five to finish us off. This longtime AFL-CIO president, whose last name makes him sound like not such a nice guy, was an early guest on the Krusty the Clown Show, believe it or not. And Shark? It was George Meany. Very good. Yeah, well, see, this is, you, you really skew to the old stuff, uh, Alex. It's why I do that. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah, definitely. You, you, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's history. I've got, a, I've got an advantage over all these kids. Cause you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yeah, you, 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 got, a, you got an advantage because you know a lot of stuff as well. So, yeah, great know. game, guys. Uh, well played by all. Um, Good game, guys. Have Shark and Bogey advancing from this round. Uh, sad to lose you, Brendan, but well played. Congrats for making it to this point. It's and, quite uh, all right. Thanks for doing it. Yeah, of course. And that's uh, that's our game for tonight, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and, uh, that's all. Good game. Good yeah, game. Good, game. Good, Good luck going forward. Well done, Bruce. Great job, guys. That was impressive. And uh, feel free to hang out, stick around as we uh, play some more trivia games or whatever we got going tonight with the uh, patrons. If you want to join the patron group and uh, join our community of trivia games, um, come to uh, schooloftrivia.com and check that out. Sign up. Join us. Thanks. No problem. Congrats. So, do you remember, Alex, uh, any of our matches back in uh, Fight Club? Uh, maybe not specifically, I guess. No? Okay, okay. I uh, I used to I boy uh, I used to be really uh, four sheets to the wind. <laughs> I've moderated since then. <clears throat> Learn to calibrate. That's right. I didn't realize you guys actually played together at trivia. Well, it, Fight Club is uh, we don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> And you have to fight on your first night. Exactly. Okay. Thanks. Good night. All right. Have a good night, Bruce. See you, Bruce. Good night. All right. Tough game tonight. Yeah, I feel like I wouldn't have done very well tonight, but usually when I'm watching, I'm trying to come up with clever wrong answers, so I don't really play along necessarily. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten into the habit of doing that as well.
Quiz bowl. Okay, how does this quiz bowl thing go? I've never done one of these. Uh, basically, I just read uh, questions, and then everyone has the, like um, their team number loaded in the chat, and their finger on the enter button. And then when they're ready to buzz, they they hit enter, and the first one that appears on my screen is the first buzz in. Okay. We've played as like a free for all, and we've also split up into teams. We played that way, where it's like, <clears throat> where it's one buzz per team. But uh... what do people usually type for buzz? Just buzz. Uh, I guess when we split up the teams, they do type either team one or two for what team they're on. Uh, when it's, Unless when you're it's... me. When it's a free for all, you can type whatever you want, I guess. In which case, I type insanely uh, absurd things that people notice the day that we played some sort of. Like testicular torsion. Yes. <laughs> Got me. Wow, people are actually voting for that. Is it usually a focused topic sort of deal or is there or is there ever like a potpourri sort of uh quiz bowl um we did uh we we've done like general academic with some pop culture and like all pop culture and then on saturday we did some simpsons God, I'd get destroyed. Yeah, I, I, would, do a I would also. <laughs> Man, but those are the ones that I need to stick around for so that I can learn all the right answers. I was thinking maybe general pop culture, though. Have an office one, too. That. What other ones do you have? I don't know. It's just from this site. There's probably others. There's probably sports too. I just didn't know if there was. All sports. these things are like. All these things are. Uh, kind of knit in sports is kind of like Simpsons in the office is probably a limited amount. Although we did we did Simpsons, so a limited amount of people who would be interested. See, I don't love quiz ball because I like being able to compete against you, Alex. Compete against me? Yeah, so when you're stuck reading the questions, I'm like, eh. I like Secret Hitler, when I'm, especially when I'm... Yeah, pop, actually, pop culture probably had sports in it as well. That Actually, that's true. Pop culture did. So it wasn't all sports, but it had sports. That'd be the only ones I'd have a chance at getting. All right, well, that got the most votes. Let's do that at least for a little bit. Maybe maybe we'll sneak in a game or two of Secretly Hitler at the end if there's time. Are we doing the alphabet split? Is that? I want to be. A... Well, actually, I'll be useless, so it doesn't matter what team I'll be on. But I was going to say I wanted to go against Sprinkle Tinkle, but I'll just hurt my team. Oh, we'll have our time <laughs> Friday night, apparently. <laughs> I want to go against. Ch 
chill. Hmm. Should we do the individual? Should we do just a free for all where we toss ups, or should we do the team thing where the team gets the bonus and that stuff? Did you guys like that, or did you prefer just a free for all? I think teams could be fun. Personally, I'm not. I'm not making a decision. I like the free for all because I kept trying to buzz in on the follow ups, and <laughs> it was never getting a chance on the first question. I prefer free for all. All right, that'll be easy. I'll try that. Yeah, I think I was just uh, trying to hide behind better teammates. No, I mean, the team, there are fun aspects of the team, too, but I don't know exactly what a fair split would be on pop culture, and I don't want to try to figure it out, so let's just do it for real. Okay. So I'm going to try to keep score here on this part of the stream here. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure I haven't done this one yet. Okay, if it sounds like if it sounds like I've already read these questions, definitely stop me. But I think I think we haven't done this one yet. Is everyone ready? With uh, are we doing free for all or teams? Yeah, free for all. Okay, okay how do we? Uh, What's that? All toss ups. There's no bonuses. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just do all the toss ups. Do we put our buzz in the lobby and what is You can just type anything in the yeah, in the chat box and just have your be ready to testicular torsion. Be ready to enter it in. Okay. So everyone, uh, all patrons who want to play, everyone ready in the Discord chat? Sure. Yep. Roger Dodd. Oh, and you should come in voice even if you're uh just so you can hear, you don't have hear me delayed. Better to hear me in the voice chat on Discord than on the stream. Uh, if you're watching the stream, that's obviously fine. You're not playing, so you don't need to hear me on time. But okay, everyone ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. A subreddit inspired by this physical action banned over 300,000 of its members in July 2018. A figure from... Nid oh, Logan? Uh, is it fat shaming? Uh, no. <clears throat> A figure from Nidavellir named, named Einri created an object used to perform this action, after which people were slaughtered. After performing this action... Its perpetrator converses with a girl who asks, What did it cost? After being injured by the axe Stormbreaker, a native of Titan claims, You should have gone for the head before performing this action. Trillions were turned to dust by, for ten points, what action? Sprinkle? Capitation? Uh, no. What action taken using a completed Infinity Gauntlet? Nightwing? A finger snap. Yes. Well, uh, Thanos. Yeah, finger yeah, snap? right, right, exactly. Yes, I think I've learned to maybe wait for more content. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's interesting. It's what makes the game uh, interesting. It's got to you know weigh that uh, balance of do I do I know it or how strong is this guess here? But um, I'm like the most impulsive person, so I'm just gonna buzz and miss everything. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm battling with here. <laughs> Clearly. When I do my at-home Jeopardy games with the sheet that I made, I I always miss the most. Like, even if I get, like, the most right, I always miss, like, the same amount. Because <laughs> I just don't know not the buzz. <clears throat> okay. Next one. 
In a 2014 fake documentary, a man made of this product claims, life is sweet, at least for me. In lieu of a proper commercial, this product was advertised via a one-time-only 30-minute musical staged on Super Bowl Sunday in 2019. In a 2018 ad, a man produces this product by milking a giraffe. Another ad for this product... Brendan? Oh, I can't hear you if you're if you're speaking. Yes, Skittles. Ah, uh, what? Did you uh, nag me for the first question? Sorry, I forgot I was muted, and then I accidentally closed out the whole thing. Oh, no worries. Oh, you know what I didn't log in? How about, uh, we'll do no negs. Let's, let's, let's not worry about that. More fun when you can guess wildly. But you can only guess yeah. one, only once, only one buzz per question, of course, per person. Okay, next question, guys. In 2001, an NFL player at this position tore his ACL while celebrating after a play. Oh, I think Bogey was Bogey was first, right? Kicker. Yeah, Bogey. Uh, yeah, kicker, exactly. Yeah, it was Martin uh, Gramatica. Gramatica, no, his brother, Bill, his younger oh, brother, yeah. Bill. Yeah. See, we got a sports uh, question in there. <laughs> and that's uh, 15 points. Early bonus for that one. Next question. These literary characters were initially said to come from the deepest, darkest African forest, though the book they appear in was revised to make them look more like hippies. A beast called a wangdoodle can allegedly eat 10 of these creatures for breakfast. The profound... Uh, Nightwing. What are Smurfs? No, sorry. The profoundly spoiled heir to a nut company... Katie. Uh, Katie. Oh, I can't hear you if you're speaking. You mute? You're muted, Katie. Sorry, um, technical difficulties. Oompa Loompas. Yes. <laughs> Ten points for Katie. Next question. Description is acceptable for this one, guys. A theory claims this person's middle name is the Romanian word Mabed. The line, I had to come to terms with the fact it's not a maybe, appears in a song about this person titled March 14th. This person first appeared on the Instagram page of Sophie Brasso and is said to deserve more than an Adidas press run in a song set to the beat of Jay-Z's The Story of O.J. Pusha T's diss track, The Story of... Adenon revealed the existence of for 10 points what relative of the Canadian rapper of God's plan Sprinkle mm -hmm. Drake uh no Grilled um his mother <laughs> no <laughs> Bogey Drake's son yes damn it <laughs> oh, relative <laughs> 25, uh, 10 points for Bogey on that one. Next question. In a series that ended in 2012, John Hurt voiced one of these beings who was imprisoned and kept alive to serve as an example. Lily Page from Once Upon a Time can assume the form of these beings, as can a San Francisco teenager from a Disney Channel series named Jake Long. Three of these creatures were briefly stolen by a powerful secretive guild in Karth. Rigel, Rigel and uh, Viserion, two of the creatures raised and commanded by Daenerys Targaryen, are... Nightwing? Dragons? Yes. Ten points for Nightwing. Next question. A TV show that inspired this event was hosted by Mark Scott and had a record score set by Jackie Jensen. The modern iteration of this event began in 1985 when its top performer was Dave Parker. Mm -hmm. Jay Garner? Yeah. Yeah, I'm 
Home run derby is correct. It's 15 points on that one. Like the, uh, the the picture buzz Jay Garner's got going on here. Okay, next one. This fictional character reveals that he is also Judas Iscariot in a ridiculous 2000 film in which he is played by Gerard Butler. Gary Oldman played this character in a 1992 Francis Ford Coppola film, an unlicensed uh, grilled. Acula. Yes. Fifteen points. Next question. This singer dismissed a boy as corny like Fritos in her 2017 single, Infinity. With You served as the lead single of this singer's 2018 album, Caution. A song by this artist broke a single day Spotify uh, sprinkle. Right, Carrie? Yes. 15 points for you on that one. Mm. Next one. A strange makeover show hosted by Khloe Kardashian was titled for a body described by this concept. A rock band titled for Wanting This Thing released the 2006 single Tear You Apart. The R in the name of the evil... Grilled? Uh, what is... No, forget it. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, Katie? Good again. Revenge body. Yes, revenge. That's what we're looking for. Oh, I can take, sorry. but I know, but I can take that. That was part of the, uh, the whole list there, and uh, fifteen points for that one. Okay, next one on this TV series, mm-hmm. James Mitchner novels are sold for one ninety nine per pound at the store. Books, books, and additional books. A character on the show claims, I am familiar with the works of Pablo Neruda after not laughing at a cartoon due to its, his lack of a soul. A daycare named for Ayn, Ayn Rand appears. Nightwing? The Simpsons. Yes. 15 points for that one. Next one. In 1899, this city's baseball team finished with a historically bad 20 and 134 record. The city's NBA team is the most recent bogey. Cleveland? Yes. 15 points on that one. The most recent to win consecutive NBA draft lotteries. My hopes won up when you said 1899. <laughs> the old Cleveland Spiders. Very good. Next question. In a music video for a song by this artist, a tornado destroys a house with an abusive father passed out inside. Katie. Is that Carrie Underwood? Yes. Fifteen points on that one. No, sing it. Sing it, Katie. I'm just wanted to say hi, I just got here. Hey. Hey Georgina. Jesus take the wheel. It's called Blow Away. I'm from Oklahoma. I have to get that one. I went to school with her. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, next one. A scene in this film led to a surge in sales of the milk-based drink Yakult. Uh, To promote this film, its cast recreated scenes from Say Anything and other classic romantic comedies. One character in this film likens its protagonist to a sexy little Rubik's Cube. While on a ski trip, a boy played by Noah Centri... uh, Grilled. Girl, you on mute? Hello. Okay, Katie. To all the boys I loved before. Yeah, yeah. Yes, very good. Netflix and chill. <laughs> Ten points on that. Next one. This city is where Talbot tries to use fake money to buy Nathan Drake's ring at the start of Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. This city is home to the 
Econ, Nemrod, and Volkod, creatures that Dr. Jonathan Reed fights. Logan? Uh, uh, Copenhagen? No, sorry. The Dr. Jonathan Reed fights in the 2018 Matt, game. Matt, oh, Spring here. Detroit? No, sorry. In the 2018 game, Vampire. Jay Garner? <laughs> London is correct. <laughs> I like that buzz. I like the reading in my pictures. <laughs> Buzz's girlfriend. <laughs> okay, next one. This man narrated the 2011 Broadway revival of How to Succeed in Business that starred Daniel Radcliffe. On Finding Your Roots, this original host of the reality series, The Mole, gleefully replied, that's amazing. Nightwing? Anderson Cooper. Yes. And I missed The Mole. 15 points on that one. I forgot about The Mole. Ah, best show ever. Oh, good. I, I actually met Bill The Mole from season two. His... Oh, my uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Next oh, one, guys. Sure. These objects appear in the name of a proto-punk glam rock band fronted by David Johansson. A place to store these objects is the namesake of the debut single and EP by Melanie Martinez. A rock band partly named for these objects asks, Could you whisper in my ear in their hit Slide and claimed, I don't want the world grilled? Balls? Yes. Don't want the world to see me. Next one. Janet Jackson's most recent album released in 2015 is titled for this word. A TV theme song titled for this word is sung by a man who was cutting up bike tires and was mixed by the Gregory brothers. The former security guard David Dunn first appears in a film with this name, which begins a trilogy that ends with 2019's glass. Katie. Unbreakable is right. Ten points for you. Next one. One actor from this family had his hands deemed too pretty by David Fincher, who digitally added hair to them for a 2007 thriller. IRS agent Harold Crick. Grilled? Joe and all? Yes. Bayak. 15 points for that. And this is toss up 20. A country where this NBA star played. Oh, sorry. A, a county where this NBA star played changed its name in 2010 to persuade him to resign. Before every game, this player uses a basketball hoop to do. Anthony? LeBron James? No, sorry. Sprinkle? Are you still buzzing, Sprinkle? Uh, that was going to be my answer. You can, you can no, retract. I have to think. You, you can retract. No, no, I just need to think. Hold on. <laughs> um, Dwayne Wade. That's correct. Nice. Nice. I know there's a Wade County in Florida. So. 15 points for that. And uh, your scores after 20 questions. We have Nightwing in the lead with 50, Grilled with 40, also Bogey with 40, uh, KW with 35, Sprinkle with 30, uh, Jay Garner and KS with 25, and Brendan with 10. I need to make some uh, current events, pop culture, on key. Yeah, flashcards. This is it's it's a there's a lot. It's, a, it's tough to. How many uh, flashcards do you have, Alex? Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, I I just from getting typecast at the as the Simpsons guy at this point. Was it was it more or less than the amount Matt Jackson had, like 300? I think it was less, which is why like they went with like we had flashcards too or whatever that we talked about but i uh i think it was it's not as, as impressive sounding as whatever absurd number that that uh 
that he had. We'll go with did quality over quantity, though. Sorry. Did the returning champion win today? She's from Tulsa. I didn't, so oh, I didn't see it. She did. She did? Yay, Tulsa. She won a lot of money, too. Big comeback. Nice. Okay, maybe we'll do 20 more. You guys ready? This NHL team traded its 2018 first round draft pick to acquire Thomas T Logan. Ducks, I don't know. <laughs> Worth a <laughs> shot. Sprinkle? Uh, to acquire Thomas. Montreal Canadian. No. To acquire Thomas Tatar and then dealt Tatar for the Canadians. Oh. Brendan? Is it the Red Wings? No. For the Canadians, Max Pacioretty. In oh. 28. Bogey. Penguins. The Golden Knights. Yes, the Golden Knights. Yeah. 15 points for Bogey. I have Tatar on my fantasy team, and he's on the Canadians now. So I'm like, yes, Canadian. Damn it. <laughs> Okay. It's not a drummer, but a person with this job title, uh, with this job, titles a song by the Ting Tings that repeats the drums over and over. Grilled? DJ. DJ, that's right. 15 points. Next one. A lizard with this name is a minor character in Alice in Wonderland. A balding, depressed, divorced man on King of the Hill has this name, which is shared by a triangular... Logan? Bill Dotrieber. Yeah, Bill is all I need. Bill. I don't deserve points. So good. 15 points. Hey, it all counts. 15 points for you, Logan. You're on the board. Next one. This color appears in the title of a film in which a disintegrator ray is built by the former chief inspector Charles Dreyfus. Another film partially titled for this color ends with a reconciliation between Andy Walsh and Ducky Dale. Steve Buscemi plays a character grilled. Pink. Pink is right. Uh, in the bonus stills. 15 points on that one. Next one, an urban legend falsely claims that these two characters were named for minor characters in It's a Wonderful Life. An, ar an apartment shared by these characters contains a bathtub named Rosie, and it's in the basement of a building. Uh, sorry, was that a buzz from Katie, or? I think she was singing Pink by her. Okay, okay. Nightwing? Bert and Ernie. Yes. 15 points for Nightwing. Mr. Bucket. Next one. One singer from this country saying, I think you're a joke, but I don't find you very funny in the song Pedestrian at Best. A former member of this country's parliament fronted a band that asked, How do we sleep? Logan? Friends? No, sorry. How do we sleep while our beds are burning? The singers of Are You Gonna Be My Girl? Bogey? Australia, yes. Ten points for you. Next question. In one film, a holder of this post deliberately gorges on blue frosted cake and vomits while playing cards. The names of dead children are given to pet rabbits owned by a holder of this title, who was told, You look like a badger by Lady Marlboro, her secret lover, in a 2018 film. A redheaded woman with this title appears in another 2018 film in which that woman's cousin was played by Saoirse Ronan. For ten points, give this title, shared by Olivia Coleman's character, Grilled. Man. Uh, say again. Queen Anne. Um. Well, uh, no. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Give this title shared by Olivia Coleman's character in The Favorite and Margot Robbie's in Mary Queen of Scots. Logan. 
I actually don't know. I thought sprinkle. Cake. You said cake. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, I. I mean, I could just have gr- gr- grilled the points. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should, based on how I rolled some of the other ones. But I was looking for the general title, which is just the title that Queen Anne had, which is Queen of England. I'll just give. I'll just give it to Grilled. Oh, I was like, I don't understand. <laughs> I'll just give it to Grilled. He basically had it. Queen of England is what Good I was job, looking for. Grilled. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, next question. A short-lived Sega platforming character with stretchy arms is shaped like one of these things. Each level of the original Scribble Knots requires collecting one of these objects. In Yoshi's Island, up to 30 of these items. Logan? <sighs> you know you're supposed to have an answer oh, ready when you buzz in, right? <laughs> I well the thing is, is like, it's not like it. yeah, there's no penalty for guessing. <laughs> I know, know, but it's not like yeah, buzz and then let me think for a while about an answer. Yeah, well Ken Jennings does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well your five seconds is up. You have something? No, I, I that right. was too much of a tangent for me to focus. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I threw you <laughs> off. <Good. laughs> Sprinkle. Is it a tongue? No, Jay Garner. What? Bubble, no. Okay, no other buzzes, right? Okay. In Yoshi's Island, up to 30 of these items function as Yoshi's health. The. Brendan? Eggs? No. Katie? Heart? No. The SNES game Super Mario RPG is centered on seven of these objects. Kirby's home planet is... Sh- Nightwing? Stars. Yes. <laughs> right, we got through that one, guys. Oh, oh, did it. Good job, everyone. Oh, Night- Mario RPG was so fun. That way, I, I was playing that not too long ago. Okay, here we go. In 2017, a man with this occupation named Courtney Kirkland, was suspended following a headbutting incident. Groups of people in this occupation typically assume lead... Sprinkle? Soccer player? No, sorry. Assume lead... Logan? Basketball player? No, sorry. Assume lead and trail positions. In Oh, Brendan. Uh, referee? Uh, yeah, more specific... Basketball? Yeah, basketball referees. Yep. And uh, Okay. Next one. One of these items owned by Ewan McGregor breaks while in Siberia in the documentary series Long Way Round. Paul Tuttle's se- uh Grinch? Recycle? Yep, very good. Motorcycle is correct. And you're on the board of 15 points. Next one. In 2013, this man portrayed police shooting victim Oscar Grant in the film Fruitvale Station. A young moviegoer uh, grilled. Oh, no, Nightwing. Sorry, 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 Nightwing. Oh, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, I, I believe you both had it. Sorry, Nightwing uh, was f- appeared first. I missed him. It's, uh, it's 15 for you, Nightwing. Next one. This NFL player began his collegiate career as a backup to Davis Webb. Connor Holiday and this man share an NCAA record of seven... Uh, Katie. Who is Patrick Mahomes. Very good. Texas Tech. 15 points. Nice, Katie. <laughs> He's in the Big 12. That's why I knew those names. Next one. This stuff names a figure who is told, say you want me, say you want me, out of your life in a single by five seconds of summer. 
A song from Bastille's first album begs, won't you let it lie after noting that this stuff has been cold for years. The advice, you don't need to run, stay with me, appears in a song named for this stuff, which partly titles another 2018 single that begins... Grilled? Blood. Blood is right, yeah. Good job parsing that one. Ten points. I just like hearing you say stuff over and over. This is Young Blood, Bad Blood, (laughs) My Blood, or we're going to In My Blood by Shawn Mendes at the end. Next one. One protagonist of this show attempts to flaunt her affluence by obtaining a success perm. In its fourth season, a boy in this show learns that his first crush, Nicole Ellis, is gay. That boy's father on this show founded the Cattleman's Ranch in Orlando uh, Sprinkle. Fresh off the boat. Yeah, very good. 15 points. So one, a spaceship crewed by humans of this type is central to Muir Lafferty's 2017 novel, Six Wakes. The students at Halshem at Kazuo Ishiguro's novel, Never Let Me Go, have this property. Using a a Grinch. A clones? Yep, they're clones. Very good. 15 points for that. Next one. One rival of this character is a part, a part rose, part human hybrid named Biolanti. A pair of creatures known as Mutos are opposed by this character in a 2014 Gareth Edwards film. Matthew Broderick appeared alongside this character in a, an abysmal 19... 19- oh, Sprinkle, sorry. Godzilla. Godzilla's right. That was such a bad... Movie. So bad. 15 points for that. <laughs> Next question. Clay Ramsey is the newest iteration of a supervillain named for this substance. The robotic villain Metallo is powered by this substance. A variety of this substance. Nightwing? Kryptonite. Yes. 15 points. Next one. Two members of this family argue over whether attending the funeral of wrestling Larry of wrestling wrestler Larry Lee is worth leaving a bunker. A man in this family uses the last name Van Halen while persuading his father to make a badass purchase at Rainbow Motors in 1967. Amara res- resurrects a member of this family who is first seen pinned to a ceiling and engulfed in flames. This family's two sons drive a trusty black Impala and befriend the trench coat clad angel Castiel. Dean and Sam belong to for 10 points. Nightwing. The Winchester family. Yes. Winchester. I couldn't remember. From Supernatural. Oh, that's annoying. All right. In 2018, fans of this baseball team alleged that an opponent deliberately deliberately tripped a fire alarm to break up a no-hitter by one of its rookie pitchers. A catcher for this team holds the record for games played at that position with a single team. Mike Schilt began... Logan? Uh, This is very easy. Um, It's the Pittsburgh Pirates. (laughs) No, sorry. Sprinkle? I'm going to go with the Yankees and Jorge Posada? No, sorry. Mike Schilt began managing this team in 2018 following the firing of Mike Bogey. The Cardinals? Yes. So many Molinas. Hard to keep track. Okay. And here we go. This singer's 1998. Sorry, 1998 comeback single, A Rose is Still a Rose, was written and produced by Lauren Hill. A cover? Oh, grilled. Aretha Franklin. <clears throat> Very good. Aretha Franklin. 15 for that. And that was 20 more, so our scores now. Nightwing took the lead with 115. Grilled has 105. Bogey, 75. Sprinkle, 60. 
uh, KAS 40, KW 35, Grinch 30, Brandon 25, Jay Garner 25, and Logan 15. Killed it. Alex is in the slope of pop culture category in my game. Wow. <laughs> Good chance that could be the case. Never know. Um, so what do you guys... Do you guys want to do another 20 or is there interest in, is there interest in sneaking Whatever. in a game of sneaking secret Hitler? <coughs> Excuse me. Obviously that would be my preference, but <laughs> obviously I can only go down from here. So I'm okay with that. Playing secret and Hitler with Nightwing is always the best. I'm a liar and a cheat. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not hearing an overwhelming push to keep growing, so let's sneak in a couple games. Secret Hitler. Who, uh, who is in... Anyone who hasn't played before, you should uh, you should play, and because uh, it's fun, it's always good to get new people in the game. But no pressure or anything. <clears throat> Stun silence or fear, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> My best friend Paul wants to join us in the group, but wait, what's we're the... in the middle of the tournament, so what are we debating? Uh, I don't know that we're debating anything. Do you want to play Secret Hitler, Logan? Hello. Hey, you cut out. I did. No, he just stopped speaking. <laughs> Maybe he cut out for me. I, I said know. I didn't know. I don't know that we're debating anything. I said, do you want to play Secret Hitler? Who in the voice chat right now does not want to play? I'm oh, indifferent. I gotta go to bed. Go to bed, Georgina? No. Oh, I can play one. I can play one, but then I have. Okay, to. that would be. Good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Maybe I maybe we'll just do one. We've been was... for so long. It's like you're always framed as being evil. No. Like Jodina and... I was gonna watch. Oh. That's fine. Anyone else out besides Katie? Not. But yeah, I, I. Uh, won't be playing. Thanks. Though. No. I might. I might do it myself. Actually. So who is playing? Oh my... We're so in love. We have enough people to play. Uh, I think so. Okay, so Jay Garner's out. Okay, so now we're. Those numbers dropped so well, fast. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think you're in, Katie. There's no choice. I can oh, play we could, if you need we... somebody, but... <laughs> I do like playing when Sprinkle's playing, so... We could play five. Just uh, me, you, Georgina, Nightwing, and Sprinkle. Looks like everyone else dipped. At the moment. 
I have nightmares about that game with five with me, you, and Sprinkle, but... Actually, I might play one. All right, Logan came back. All right, now you got to play Katie because we'll have seven if you play. Now you're in Katie. Now you're in Katie. 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 I don't mind. Is that okay? Sure. (laughs) All right. I was just thinking, you know, I haven't gaslit anyone in a while, so I really need that. uh, (laughs) All right, I made the game, uh, guys. I'm getting hot sweats and night terrors from uh, not having that ability. It's always interesting playing with KW because she reads me so well. Like I just not all pray to God she's on my team. <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't like, call me out. Don't come for me unless I send for you. It's kind of a... <laughs> sometimes she pick me first here. when you get your first turn and I'm like, Get out of here. Is she trying no, to mess with like, me? You know? what, what is the game? Logan's gonna break me. I already know. Like, pr- like, yeah. I, if anyone wait. could. If anyone Why would could. I break you? What? In what way? Mentally. Well, I don't <laughs> intend to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I just I want to destroy you. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there, you, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Truth comes out. Boy. No, I'll save that for our game on Tuesday. There you go. <clears throat> that works for me. I'm terrified to play against you, Joe. Balls. All depends on the boards. Yeah, don't uh, be afraid of me. This is the worst. I'm liberal and I'm on the last spot. There's <laughs> I'll pick you. I'll pick that. you next week. Thank you. Yeah, how about that? Wow. Maybe we'll pick you next then. Let me just throw that a wrench in that plan. I'm just I'll, audibly I'll mine so I can <laughs> I'm audibly distressed about being liberal. I will see what happens spot. here. I too am too audibly, audibly distressed, distressed I don't know. at being uh-huh. liberal. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't trust either of you. I have not gotten to play fascist <laughs> in so long, it hurts. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. I have not gotten to play fascist in so long. It hurts. Uh, yeah. Listen, I don't like this already. <laughs> Make it easy. <laughs> Alright, I like this. Well, you're making it easy on me since you know since I know that you are a fellow liberal. Oh my god. <laughs> I already quit. Bye. <laughs> Sketch. <laughs> I left that my microphone freaked the fuck out last couple nights ago. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like it was the day after the return window closed on Amazon. Started fucking up. Of course it oh, was. That's no. how it works. Yeah, of course. You know. <laughs> They put a microchip but, in it that's like, oh, 30 days gone. Exactly. Well, I know. Well, you see, it was manufactured in China. I should have known. Well, you see, Amazon, you know, they're ahead of the curve. Right now, Apple is doing planned obsolescence. They're doing planned self-destruction. <laughs> <laughs> I love my seventh grade uh, science teacher. He taught us all about planned obsolescence. <laughs> it's just like anything you buy now, it's planned to break. Nice. Don't buy it thinking that TV is going to last forever. <laughs> I don't think kids these days grow up with those kind of lessons anymore. <laughs> wow. Does he still teach at your school? I'm it's pretty easy. sure he's dead. Sorry, now. Logan. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure he's dead. <laughs> 
<sighs> Let's see. That one looks good. <laughs> Mwa -ja -ja -ja. Mwa -ja -ja. Dude, stop. What is happening? <laughs> All right, fellow liberal, it's time to make our government. Dude, I'm apprehensive about this. <laughs> well, we, me and Georgina each got yeah. two blues, so there's probably a lot of reds left. Then Katie must, Katie got her blue as well, according to Logan. Nothing yeah, about this reds. feels good to me, but I'll vote yes just to give it a shot. Matt, do you want Logan to investigate somebody? <laughs> Please let me investigate someone. Yeah, why didn't he get to? <laughs> well, he will this time if he yeah. if he passes a red. Hmm. I don't even know what's I mean, happening. I'm like suspect. <laughs> <laughs> like just vote uh, yes, Alex. <laughs> vote yes, Alex. Don't tell Alex what to do. You grown. <laughs> oh hell yeah <laughs> you guys are fuck <laughs> i am not oh, lord oh my god i hate this you game did. you're a dick oh, i'm gonna begin or click the blue and oh no, no. sure you did sure you did <laughs> you did that you know what you did <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you can. That's up to you to decide. <laughs> My God. Okay, let's see. Who am I? Uh... Yeah, well, I look like shit because of what you did. This <laughs> is time for me to um, throw you under the bus. Let's see. Get really? Out of here. Really? Ooh, I think Get she out might of here. be best. Get out of here. I'm blue. Um, our results are um, being kept under seal um, to protect privacy of those are being you investigated. Me right now. <laughs> what is that? I mean, I guess you don't have to. I'm just we'll kidding. Through she's, this computer. She's fashy as hell. Blue. I'm blue. Mm. Get out. Get out. No, no, I, th I think she's full fash. She's fashy. <laughs> I'm blue. Hmm. As much as I distrust Logan. <laughs> Why don't you trust Logan? That's the question I ask myself every night. Well, you have to trust me because I just told you the truth. That's enough evidence. <clears throat> Is this a complicated scenario? It yeah, like should what, be. No, I'm not sure what's happening right now. Anthony? Anthony? Oh, I was thinking. Hmm. I was thinking. Don't oh, know why. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. No, but for real, Katie's fashy. I'm blue. Get out. I'm staying away from three and four. <laughs> I'm blue. Get out. So... Stay away from me. I've only been honest all game. It's all. So... Partly because no. you accidentally throw away blue cards. So I'm thinking it might not be safe to like, give you Look, the rest. It's I have made way. some, I have cast some bad bad votes in the past, but I, I would you. volunteer to be elected here if. <clears throat> There's been a murder. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michael Scott. <laughs> I think she was uh, How are we feeling? referring to the murder of one Michael Bloomberg tonight. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't, I don't watch. That was pretty ugly. Things. It was hilarious, though. 
I mean, I, I just assume that he's rich and racist. Does that so solve, like, huh? the entire argument? Good. Oh, great. Right. What was the thing, Anthony, about you were thinking? Yeah, yeah. I'm still so confused about that. What were you thinking about? What does that mean? <laughs> if I should pick the red card on the left or the one on the right. <laughs> Okay, so you, so you weren't thinking. I was actually just spaced out and not paying attention. Had we, I been picked, I would have picked it's Dina, so I this feel like is... I'm going to go to you, but I hope that you're not screwing me over. Yeah, no, I don't plan to. <laughs> Trust him. He's a liberal. You terrify me. Like, to my core. <laughs> so. <laughs> wow. Being persecuted in this chat. What? No, I just, I'm not going to come after you. I just don't want you to come after me either. I don't come after anyone. That's a lie. <laughs> What did we trust Sprinkle? Um, because I, I mean, don't. We're in the Hitler I zone, so. Literally don't know what's happening with Logan. I'm sure you guys will vote it down because apparently once Someone we get to three red cards, right. it's a whole I'm thing. never allowed to be involved in the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was voting yes, but now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, that was a weird line. What'd you do? What'd you do to this vote? An odd <laughs> bluff for me to point yeah. out the fact that we're I am in Hitler's so zone. blue. I'm the bluest of blues, so unless the cards go against me. Ooh. Read that one through. Hot Hitler. Of course they did. No, Joe. Come I on. God, I swear to God. Say it ain't so, Joe. Hmm. <laughs> it is so, but it is. This is why. Oh boy. And you get to kill. It's not even me. <laughs> if, if you want I God, you want should this. kill Katie. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't want this power. <laughs> I'm blue. I don't have a good thought. I'm not going to. I would kill Katie. Taint your but... judgment. No. Right. Who's Noah? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I think you've got to choose between Katie and Logan, and just choose who you believe. No, I mean, that's right that's what I generally <laughs> would do. I know, but I just know. kill Katie. She's just fascist. Get out. Out. Oh no God. one's. No, I don't one. think you kill either of them. I think here's here's the proof. Around. I just I disagree with that logic. No. I think you kill one of them. Because you okay, know for he's... sure one of them is a fascist. Sorry, Logan. Go ahead. Maybe oh, kill Alex because he's <laughs> okay. Now that's an interesting. Maybe kill Sprinkle. Oh my God, I hate all of you. No, but, no, but I mean, you have a guaranteed fascist in those two, which fifty percent is better odds than normal. And I agree with you. Plus, they There's could they could both be fascist. The other done. they could both be fascist. Like well, we are already odds. in trouble uh, here. I don't know. You, I, don't, I know we are. To, maybe you should just try to go for Hitler. Take the one in six of getting Hitler. Yeah. Like, I don't think Katie or Logan's Hitler. I have no idea who has. Yeah. People You're always say that, and like I don't. Kate. Why? Like, if K why couldn't Katie be Hitler? So well, okay. I don't know. What what Hitler. what is that based on? Like. She was peak okay. fascist. That's all we know. Like, yeah, why but... couldn't she be Hitler? Yeah, exactly. She has to lie when she's peak, if, uh, so it's not like. If Poker Boy is bringing up odds, I can give you hundred percent chance that I know I'm not, uh, Katie I'm not. is a fascist. I think it's five, six, or seven is probably Hitler, but I don't have any justification. No, we just it's, no, it's not. It's not seven because we were at three cards when I. Did. Yeah, it can't be sprinkle. Can't be sprinkle. I'd go with Nightwing or Alex, probably Nightwing, but I've no I would go food. with Katie because she's oh, actually. I think I Nightwing think, is I, probably fash. I think you have to kill I Logan or Katie. Katie is fascist. Oh my! I think you have to kill Logan or Katie because they could like they could both be fascist and Logan just could be this? doing something weird no, and throwing no, her under the bus. How about this? Either, but... I wouldn't if put that past him. If you don't kill Katie, fucking kill me. 
I agree <laughs> with that. I mean, I, do, I mean, I think you should kill my winger Alex, but I have six. No Actually, the worst choice Shoot I've made six. was to play. Uh, I don't think it makes sense to go outside of Katie and Logan. It's just yeah. I'm with Sprinkle here. If he says shoot six, or if he says shoot there's some five, interesting teams it. being built. So that's all hey, I can see. There's, if you there's, kill there's some Katie, lines of people <laughs> trying to focus on a couple of people. So I, 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 I agree that every time game there's game. a conflict, I say like every I say this every single time there's a conflict. Yeah, it's I not about like Hitler. trying to take out to certain people. Hitler. Liberals, I think, have to go for Hitler here. They're too far to win. <laughs> too so far funny. behind to win. I think they're too far behind to win on cards this way. Yeah. All right. So, so here's the thing, to... Joe Gina. We have to think about the upcoming elections also. Correct. So if we kill one of those three, huh? if we suspect them, there's <clears> something <throat> to be said for doing that. Mm -hmm. um, I think Alex is probably Hitler. What? <laughs> what? But, like, but that I, wouldn't I, benefit us if we. Uh, I, 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 think, I think I think there's a good I think there's a good chance. Sorry, go ahead, Nyla. Sprinkle is one hundred percent liberal. Otherwise, we would have lost the last round. No, okay. he's just not How? fascist. Well, he's just not that's Hitler. That's Hitler. He's not one hundred percent liberal. I, you know, I'm, 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 I think Nightwing, right. maybe. I think you I think take Nightwing the shot at Nightwing. The, the, there's no, like, there, I meant to say Anthony and Sprinkle uh, are pulling out everything to not kill one of Katie and Logan. You, Alex. No, are wh you, Alex. what are you talking about? I'm using, like, I say the same logic I say every time. You kill someone she in the conflict. Me, but there's no reason. I say this every single time. It's a close game, and, like, liberals would have a chance of winning. I don't see how that's a factor, Anthony. You guys are... Actually, you should kill Alex. You should kill Alex. I think it's five or six. <laughs> okay. I think it's five or six, too. You either kill Katie or Alex, in my opinion. I'm with Logan. Oh I would be... You oh could kill or Nightwing, God. but... I There's a clear line that. of three if you can listen, Kajogina, that they've they're already targeting to think about the next plays. If you if, slipped up. Here's the no, deal. No. I'm Literally. I'm looking ahead of that and I think I just two people that she can those shoot. Three people. There's only two people she can shoot on those next three turns because she can't shoot herself. So that means you're targeting Alex, so you're the next president, which means it'd be three to three, so that you can just you know, force through the next two cards as top cards. I just Dude, think I'm I just, not Asian. I don't know what listen, kind of math. Listen, listen, Joe. It's not math. All you you can count to three. The, it's what? Alex, jo you, and Joe Gina. Joe Gina, I just think we know one of Katie I and Logan are fascist, and both of them could easily be. So I don't see how it makes sense. And I see the, two people the, arguing very strongly not to kill one of them, which doesn't make sense to me. I'm not arguing like anything. Little, let's take this a little what, bit more. You're not arguing today. anything. I'm not arguing not to kill Katie or okay, Logan. So here's I my what? Okay, okay, okay. You could. I just don't okay. think it's the way we're gonna win. Okay. I think the way to win is to try to get Hitler wow. here. And I don't. I think. Yeah, that, no, that's bad. Not, that's a like, terrible idea. Hey. Okay. Here's the. Here's. Here's my pitch. Oh my to you. God. <laughs> here's my pitch to you. Right. I don't give a shit if you kill me. You can kill me. You just but be shooting yourself help in the butt if you're a liberal. But here's the thing. I'm the only one here who knows the role of anyone here. And it, there's a 100% chance that it's Katie. I, 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 I it. really believe in Logan here. Like, Katie has so, been super quiet. She normally would be really loud in defending herself so, if she was so liberal we here. To kill a fascist here. So do we just want to shoot blindly and maybe hit Hitler? Or do we want to kill a fascist? Which whittles down the fascist population. In which case, you should kill Katie. Do what you want, Joe. There's Just only three fascists. Right. If Katie is a fascist, it's one in three that she's Hitler. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. there's no reason why she wouldn't. Well, too late. <laughs> Arguments closed. <laughs> I think it was a smart play. Yeah, I mean, we'll know quickly if there's a three-three tie in the next one. I'd like to go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> I've made the wrong choice. Uh, I, I, think, I don't know. I'm too tired for this. Ah, uh, why do you have to pick Logan? Why would you? Uh, Alex wants a bullet. Is why he picks Logan. Why he's, would you what? involve yourself in I just, someone who's in the? I'm, I'm just told. I mean, I'm. I could be. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm all in on Logan. Katie was I'm super quiet. 
I, I well, you went uh, to bowling alley. This is super fascist <laughs> from Sprinkle because you know Katie was super quiet. Was you know Katie was fascist. I do not know that. You said <laughs> you thought she was fascist the whole time, I, and now you're going back on it. Liberal mindless. Liberal nine. I think Alex. Sprinkle and fascist. Anthony are fascist together. I'm, I'm pretty sure. To either me and I just got a fascist me, killed. Why do you not want me in office? What Sprinkle the hell? and Anthony. Alex to get a Sprinkle and I Anthony. I feel not... like are fascist together, guys. Yeah. I think Alex is a fascist. No. I think Sprinkle's on my team. I mean, I, I... know I'm literal, so the fact <laughs> that Alex is arguing so hard against me makes me 100 percent think it's yeah. what because liberal <laughs> liberals violence. have never gone after liberals before ever liberal, <laughs> of course we have but liberals nine like every you, single piece of logic that sprinkle said this game has I made died. zero sense to me i'm so confused i'm too tired i'm so sorry <laughs> hey Come to me, I'm cool. definitely not anything. Yeah, there's no way. I'm not anything. What? Why? You, you two have been partnered for the whole game. The whole game of two of you have been I'm partnered. I'm super there's suspicious of Sprinkle and Anthony at this point. Who are you Sprinkle and Anthony. Anthony. I'm, I don't care who I you pick. You're picking Anthony. No, I don't know he's picking Anthony. He could pick whoever he wants if he's fascist. Well, if I pick you, Nightwing. You're fascist, Alan. You won't pick me. <laughs> you just wanted me shot a couple of seconds ago. I mean, I guess if we know they're nining it, we might as well just pick whoever. And then it's it. so obvious Nightwing and Alex are fascists together. It depends if we have, if, it depends if we got Logan or Katie. Like, if Logan's a fascist, then we lost it. Katie. I almost have, have to pick Anthony here, even though I didn't want to do that. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah you sound, you sound <laughs> right. very so begrudging. No, I actually am. <laughs> I would have loved to pick Jodina. <laughs> Whatever, I'm gonna do this. What you're picking, Logan? Right. What? Nine. Oh <laughs> Sorry, my God. Sprinkle. I don't want to go on. <laughs> it wasn't gonna go through. If it gets to you, Jujita, oh will God. you pick me? Nine ball corner pocket. Okay, if you're a liberal, um, you're stupid if you vote nine. Why? Put it through. Put it through. Put it through. Yep, we yeah. just got nice. Oh, yeah. The question is, was it better to pack a blue card or get a bullet and kill Alex or Nightwing here? I don't know. Okay. Probably. So... <laughs> that would be an easy win. Georgina, I understand why Logan would vote for herself, but you're Sprinkle and Anthony are hoodwinking you here. Honestly, just I'm telling panic you. voting. I'm going to be fully honest with you. I'm panic voting. I'm, I'm liberal. Alex is fascist. Sprinkle's liberal. Nightwing's fascist. Totally makes sense that a liberal would speak in total 100% confidence on all the rules. Makes the perfect sense. I'll see there if I wanted. I could have discarded <laughs> the blue. The I did not. Over faster than great. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the one who took forever on your decision, Joji. <laughs> you could have killed someone faster. Yeah, I'm regretting it intensely. Why did you claim RR? <laughs> Obviously All right, not. yeah, this has to be the, the combination we're doing here. Liberals vote yes. Yes. Plus, we're getting duped. Play this for at least a month. Wow, it really is. I'm right, okay with this, because I don't think Anthony would risk... Getting in a conflict here with a big lead. Here we go. Don't have a choice. So it's like 100% Nightwing and, and Alex. But I got two blues. Why do you think that, Logan? Can you swing well, it to me, Anthony? I have. I could get three reds because I got two blues last time from Joe Gina, but but how? But I I will swing it to. You. Unless, do you think really... Logan has a better chance of getting past? Uh, I mean, they're going to vote how they're going to vote. I don't think it matters which one of us you pick. They'll, they'll vote no. I mean, would he have Georgina's vote? Yeah, do I not. Just, Sprinkle has won a thousand games like this, Georgina and Logan. Just letting you know, do not 
Be careful here. I've already been elected in the Hitler zone. I'm not Hitler. I know. I'm not saying you're Hitler. I'm saying you and Anthony are fascists. Yeah, but you're making it personal. Like, I am going to win this game. Like, <laughs> or I got called out for being slow. So we're all just, it's fine. Um, no, I didn't. It sounded like you were complaining about the game taking long. It's like, well. We were we were paused on your decision. I mean, if Anthony's fascist, then fuck. I'm not but... fascist. So if the fascists win, they deserve to win because they played me hard. So. All right. Um. Good game, guys. <laughs> we tried. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was the thirty. <laughs> I should have voted no on that one vote, and I don't know why I voted yes. I thought it was going through, so I, I could have nine that down. What are we gonna do? We uh, we we're, we're in trouble. <laughs> we uh, we fought. I really we did get five. three reds. But... All right, that was oh, fun. No. One more game, anyone? <laughs> Not, not uh, obviously not me. I'm not. I just want to be fascist. That's it was all I useless. I don't even. My me brain. Too, sprinkle. Cannot... No, you made. You, I mean, you did good, Judge. You made. You made the right you call. Won. Yeah, you, got, you, you, you did know, good. But... Sprinkle. You you want to be fascist, and so do I. We should just be fascist in the real life. No, <laughs> no. Listen. One might argue I already am. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. I have to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good night. All right. Good night, yeah, guys. Good night, I'm going CP soups too. Oh no! What do we get? Do we have five? Yeah. Uh, well, I think I want to call it. I don't know if you have it without no! me. But... All right. Good night.